Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we beat Castelia City Gym. And unfortunately, we did lose our Sawaddle. And now we get to go up to the desert area of Unova, which is kind of dangerous because there is two rival battles there and a lot of trainers. But I was doing a little bit of grinding to prepare for this area and something special happened. So roll the clip. So I was just doing a little bit of training to prepare for the next part of the game. And Timple decided that he wanted to evolve. So here we go. Timple is going to evolve right here. Ooh, here we go. He's going to gain the ground typing and turn into a Palpitoad. And... Boom. Palpitoad is here. All right, I just wanted to record this little section to show you guys that Timple evolved. Let's get back to the episode. So yeah, my um, Timple evolved into a Palpitoad while I was doing a little bit of training. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking, right? Your Pokemon are looking a little strong. Like they're level 27, Fang is level 20, I mean, everyone's level 26, but Fang is level 27. I was trying to evolve him, but he didn't evolve yet, so that's why he's not evolved. And um, anyway, we know we got the Bianca rival battle coming up right now. And we also have a Charon rival battle coming up right after. And the reason I leveled them this high is because I, I'm i like 99% sure they both have water types. Or if one of them doesn't have a water type, he probably has a grass type. So that's why they're so high leveled. Also, I put um, I put rest on Boldor because I had, had a lot of Chesto berries. And I was like, ooh, I may as well use these. So that's why I put rest on him. You'll, you'll see it in a second when we get into this battle here. Uh, they said we can have Pokemon battle in the gate as long as we're careful not to break the electric bulletin board. We all know you're going to break some shit, Bianca. Stop lying. I'm the new and improved version of me. It's going to go great this time. Let's start up our Pokemon battle again. I think Bianca is the one who started with Oshawott. I'm pretty sure. And then Sharon has uh, Tepic. They're probably both involved now, so I don't know. If she has a Duwat, this is going to be a really tough battle for me. Because pretty much my whole team is weak to water. I mean, Palpito kind of isn't, but he is. he's a water ground type. So he's neutral to it. But it's still going to be hard. Okay, so let's go for our Rock Blast. Okay. Okay. Yo, Bulldor is crazy, dude. Hmm, some good experience. Ah, oh, see? Bianca is the one with the water type. I mean, my only option is sending out um, Palpitoad. Because he's the only one who can actually tank a water move. Okay, um... Let's use Uproar. Uproar does a lot of damage, guys. I recently got it on him while, while I was training. Damn, that damage is nice. Oh, yeah, we got this. I thought we were going to struggle a lot more with this Duot, but we got this. That's going to hurt a little bit. Okay, that's fine. You use the potion? Really, Bianca? Come on. I hope I don't get too stuck in this uproar because, uh, oh, he calmed down. Okay, so we could technically heal him. We're not going to because I think we're going to be fine here by, by uh, spamming uproar. Okay, don't die here. Don't crit. Don't crit. Oh, my God. Let's go. He did lower my defense, though, but he should be dead here. No, wait. That's bad. That's really bad. If he hits me right now, I'm dead. Don't fucking hit me. Wait, he went again. But is he going to hit me? <gasps> he went for focus energy. Duwad just saved Tom's life by accident. Don't go for a super potion. <gasps> oh my god, guys. You guys don't understand what just happened. Tom was stuck in uproar, which means he has to do three uproars in a row. If Duwad went for a water move there, Tom would have been dead. He just got saved so hard. Oh my god, guys. I'm so glad. I love Tom. 
I fucking, I love my team in general right now. Even though we're all weak to, like, the same shit. Like, my whole t team dies to a grass type pretty much right now. <laughs> but I fucking love the guys. They're great. Okay, that's easy work. I may have gotten a little too overleveled. Maybe. Pantsier? Bro, Fan can handle that. Fan can definitely handle a Pantsier. Yeah, we, I, I may have overleveled a little bit, but I was just scared of these rival battles, guys. They're no joke. Like, two in a row? It's kind of scary. Alright, so that's it. Oh, are you sad? I'll never be a strong trainer like you or Charon or Iris, but, you know, since we left Novenema Town, I've met a lot of people and I've been thinking about what I want to do in life. When you look at it that way, Pokemon have given me a lot of new experiences. Okay, having my Pokemon stolen was just really hard and I felt really unsure. Still, I gotta say I'm really glad I went. I've learned so much on this journey and I also learned that being with Pokemon is really important. Oh well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye Razor. Okay. Bye Bianca. Thanks for the battle. I don't know if your battle is gonna be harder or Sharon's battle is gonna be harder. Uh, what are we doing right now? I am gonna lead with Tom here because... Tom's a water type, and there is a lot of ground and a lot of fire types here, and I ain't risking shit, bro. I'm not about to lose my three Pokemon. Okay, what do you want? Oh, shit. Is that Charon? That is Charon, dude. That motherfucker wants to battle me. I know he does. X accuracy. All right. What's over here? Oh, fuck. What are we running into? Oh, Darumaka, we can kill that easily. We got Palpatode. Guys, I am so happy that he evolved. Like, Temple was low-key kind of a weakling. I can't even lie. He was a little bit of a weakling. But now, now he's evolved. He's gained the ground typing. It's going to be great. Look at that damage, dude. Mm. All right, we're going to go up here. Oh, there's a house here? Who's in here? Oh my god, it's a Crocorock. What are you worn out? Then rest here. Oh, this is the spot where we can heal? That's really nice. Okay, wait. That's great. That's fucking great. Let's go over here. Wait, what's over here? In here? Is there anything? No? Um, okay, well, we got fishermen here. I don't think I'm gonna fight those. Because they probably got a bunch of water types, and I don't want to fight a bunch of water types. Let's see, what do we got over here? Hello? You want to fight me? My way of life is dynamic. Okay, if you say so. I don't got to be so goddamn angry about it. What do you got? Ooh, rock and roller, easy. Easy stuff. Alright, we're just going to bubble beam spam, I guess. He's gonna have sturdy, 100%. Anyway, I got a little topic to talk about for today's episode. So a few days ago, I mean, it was probably a week ago, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I watched a new anime on Netflix called um, called B Stars, and it's about like, like, like all the humans are gone, right? There's no fucking humans, and all the animals act like humans. But there's also kind of like a dark side because like, of course there's animals that eat other animals, but that's like illegal, but then some animals still do it. And it's pretty fucked up, but like, that anime is so good. Like, I've been trying to get into more anime shit, and Beastars is amazing. I can't wait for the next season to come out. I've also been watching, um, like talking about anime, I've been watching uh, the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. Uh, I'm on season 3 episode 27 right now because there is a problem with it and that is that like Netflix said when was it April 1st I'm pretty sure they said uh, we're adding every episode I mean I don't think they said we're adding every episode but they said we're adding season 3 of Pokemon Sun and Moon so I was like bro that's lit uh oh that's not good I need a big hit. Hold up, guys. This is bad. 
I'll talk about Sun and Moon in a second. Okay, what's gonna do the most damage here? Okay, so I think... I think Assurance is the best option. Because I gotta... Like, I think he's gonna attack me as well. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Because he's obviously using Bite. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot, guys. Oh, and that didn't kill. And Sand isn't even gonna kill either. Alright, well... Y'all know I struggle with Bide, but if anyone can take it, it's The Rock. Let's be realistic here. If anyone could take a Bide, it's The Rock. And if he doesn't, well, I don't know. <laughs> We've lost so many Pokemon to Bide. Oh, no. <gasps> he has Sturdy. I forgot he has Sturdy, dude. The Rock has Sturdy. Let's go, dude. I, guys, switching the rock in, I totally forgot he had sturdy. But that is beautiful, dude. Oh my god. Oh, fucking heart attack, boys. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Sun and Moon, right? So, Netflix said, we're adding season three of Sun and Moon. And I was like, that's fucking lit. I'm gonna watch the fuck out of that. Because Sun and Moon, honestly, it's a good anime. And they added season three, and I was like, that's what's up. I'ma watch it. And then I found out later, they only added uh, episode 1 to 27, even though there's like, what, like 50 episodes? And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And I know the episodes are out already because uh, they've already started like airing the new fucking anime. They already started doing um, the Galera anime, Sword and Shield. So I don't know what the fuck Netflix is doing because I'm trying to watch the whole, you know, season three, but they're scamming me. I hope they add it at some point, though, because I know they pull some bullshit because they used to have, um, they used to have Pokemon Black and White on Netflix. They deadass deleted it, added X and Y. I watched X and Y. They delete it, add Sun and Moon. Why don't they just keep both animes there? Like, why do they have to delete it? You know how good Netflix would be if every single episode of Pokemon ever would be on it? That'd be beautiful. I think a lot of people would like that too. Because I would deadass probably rewatch every episode. Like a lot of people like say that Pokemon isn't really an anime. But honestly it really is an anime. Like god it's so good. Especially like, like, like the newer episodes. Like the animation style is just so nice. Especially the fights, dude. They go ham with the fights. If you ever need a good fight to watch, go watch the XYZ, uh, like, final battle. Like, Ash versus, uh, Alon. Or Elaine. I don't know his name. God, that battle is crazy. Oh, shit. There's nothing over here? Do you want anything? Hello? You don't want anything? I'm just gonna ignore that lady. I don't know what the fuck is up over here. Do 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 Right, well, I guess we'll uh, take down Charon. It's gonna be fucking scary, though. Hope he doesn't pull out grass and water types. Like, guys, a grass type would literally ruin me. Okay, let's see here. Bubble Beam. Yeah, that should take care of that sand out. Okay. All Gucci. Is he gonna level up here? No, that's not enough. Okay, that's fine, though. Okay, we're gonna go back to this little shack here, or house, whatever it is. Come on, heal me up, bro. My, uh, my boulder definitely needed some healing there. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. I keep thinking that I, um, accidentally press again, but she has another text bubble, so. Fuck! I wasn't trying to encounter another Mon. I mean, I guess this is fine, because maybe this Scraggy will, uh, level up Palpitoad. Make him a little bit stronger for the upcoming battle here. God, Scraggy is such a cool Pokemon, too. I would not have minded if I uh, encountered a Scraggy as my first encounter. But I am happy that I got my um, Sand Isle. Dude, Scraggy, you're getting on my fucking nerves. I literally I literally just healed to get ready for this fucking Charon battle, and you're gonna, like, damage my Palpitoad? That's fucking messed up. Now I gotta go back and heal. Okay, do I just use a potion or do I just... No, nah, I'll walk. I'll walk back, guys. It's not that far. It's literally right here. Hope I don't encounter anything this time. Alright, heal me up quickly. We gotta get to this rival battle. 
All right, thank you. No extra text bubble there. Don't encounter anything. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. What does this say? The desert area? Oh, shit. Route 4. Oh, it's just called Route 4. Okay, who do we lead with? Mm hmm. So, what did Bianca lead with? A herdier. I got a feeling he's gonna lead with... I think he had a Patrat, so he's probably gonna lead with um, Watchhog, I think. Hey, Razor. I've been waiting for you to get the Insect Badge. And now it's time to see which one of us is the stronger trainer. Oh, I have no idea what he has, man. Don't send out a Grass type, please. I know he's gonna have a Grass type. Four Pokemon, too. Don't send out a Grass type, please, please. Oh, it's Pidove. Thank you. You didn't even evolve your Pidove yet? Wow, dude. I evolved my Pidove back in uh, Pinwheel Forest. He died, but, you know, that's whatever. Let's just go for the Uproar spam, then. Because Pidove ain't gonna do shit to me. Let's be real here, guys. It's a fucking Pidove. <laughs> I almost one-shot it. Good shit. Did Bianca have um, an elemental monkey? Didn't she have a Pantsir, or am I tripping, guys? I don't even remember if she had an elemental monkey, but if this dude has a Pantsir... What the fuck is the timing of that shit? Honestly, let's be realistic here. The Rock is the only one who's going to be able to take down this fucking Pants Age. Because of Sturdy. If I can... Hmm, maybe Mud Slap, uh, Heal Spam, potentially. Okay, so it's... Um, okay, so we're gonna have to Mud Slap. We need to lower its accuracy. That's important. Don't do too much. Oh my god, guys. I am so happy that I took the time to level up my Pokemon. Because that fucking Vine Whip did barely anything, and I am so happy about that. Because if I was, like, what, a level 20-something fucking little rog and roller dude, I would have gotten fucked right there. Okay, that's kind of annoying, though, that he put up a leech seat. I'm not happy about that. We're just going to keep lowering this dude's accuracy, though. Okay, this, this is already fucking annoying. Oh, we avoided it because we're lowering its accuracy by so much. I'm gonna have to start rock smashing soon because we need to lower its defense as well. Okay, we're gonna go for one more mud slap and maybe heal. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to heal here. Oh, that was a crit, really? I really don't like that he has that leech seat up. I'm not happy about that. Okay, guys, this is the reason I put rest on this dude. Look at this, right? We're gonna rest up. And it's going to instantly wake me up right here. This is a beautiful shit right here. See, it's going to fall asleep. It's going to gain its health back. And boom. What's that? A chesto berry. And he woke up again. Fucking wonderful. Alright, I think it's time to start with the rock smash spam. We're taking this fight as slowly as we can. We need to be cautious. Because, you know, it's a fucking grass type. And boulder is literally my only way of beating this battle. Because, um, you know, Palpatode is four times fucking weak. He would get destroyed. And I don't think Sandow is going to do much either to a Pants Age. Let's be fucking real. Oh, fucking hell. You got a crit. Good stuff, dude. The Rock is crazy. Lipart. Okay, so he didn't have a uh, Watchhog. He had a Lipart. Uh, let's let's uh, let Sandow handle this. Fang. <laughs> Okay, well, let's start off by trapping it. God, guys, we are a little overleveled. I can't lie, but, you know, gotta take care of your mons. Sand tube. It's kind of good, though, because this means that if I pick up, like, more Pokemon, if I catch more Pokemon, I have the... I have a lot of time to, like, level those Pokemon up, because my main Pokemon will be leveled up already. Is that the Quick Claw I put on him? Hell yeah, dude. Good shit, Sandow. But I didn't kill him. Well, she's going to die to the sand tomb, right? I mean, he... Is he? Nice. Good shit, Sandow. 600 experience? God damn. Pig Knight. Uh, honestly? Tom, dude. Palpatode is like... <laughs> Palpatode is a direct counter to this Pig Knight. 
He can't touch my Palpatode. I think, like, maybe even one Bubble Beam will do the trick here. Okay, not one Bubble Beam. Anyway, guys, I was right. They had counters to my team. Bianca had the Water type, and Sharon had the Grass type. So I'm definitely glad I did all that leveling. All right. Sharon, just shut the fuck up. You already lost, dude. Get out of here. Ooh, 700 experience? Good shit. All right, Sharon, what, what, what do you got to say? It's not clear to me. The reason you are so tough is the trust between you and your Pokemon. But that shouldn't be a problem. I can get more out of Pig Knight and my other Pokemon too. Oh shit. Is it the professor, mom, anyone? Who, who's calling? It's the professor. Hello there. Razor, do you have a second? Professor Juniper, do you need something? I called Bianca too, but I guess she didn't hear the call. I wonder what she's caught up in. Well, I suppose I'll just have to call her again later. Okay, I'll be waiting for you two in front of the gate to Nimbasa City. Um, hello? Nimbasa City's gate is straight down Route 4. Alright, we get it. Okay, let's do a little cheeky heal. You know. And we're gonna... We're gonna explore a little bit more of the desert here. I think this is gonna be a bit of a lengthy episode today. Because I want to explore uh, the main part of the desert. And then next episode we'll explore like... Um, what's it even called? There's like an area to the left. Oh, I think it's what this dude is talking about. The desert resort. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do next episode. Oh lord. What the fuck do we got over here? Burn heal? Okay. Um, are we, we're leading with Tom. It's kind of hard for me. Like, I want to lead with Tom because obviously he's going to be pretty fucking good right here in a desert, you know, with his water typing. But I do want to like, fucking evolve Fang, you know. He's going to be sick as a croc -a rock Oh, this dude has one Pokemon. It's a Darumaka, dude. Fang could have totally taken that Darumaka. God damn it. Oh, Palpito is going to one-shot this dude. Get him, Palpatode. Boom. Mmm. Good damage. Crit, too? Good shit, dude. 244 experience. Was that Keanu Reeves? Was that his name? Keanu? Okay, what do we got? We got this dude. Let's fight him. Hey, how you doing? Is that even a dude? Kind of looks like a woman. My travel partner is a Pokemon that a popular guidebook recommended. Is this a woman or a dude? That is a woman. Anna, with a Codney. Oh, that's bad. Guys, that's really bad. I gotta really get something to counter this shit. I, I need to switch out. I need to switch into Bulldor. That's, like, that's something I have to do. Why does everyone have a fucking grass type? What is up with that? Yo, I'm so happy that uh, Boulder is so tanky. And he has 30, like, he's honestly a blessing. Okay, Codney is going to get fucked by the Sandstorm, too. That's nice. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Rock Blast. I know it's not going to do much, but I need the five times, like, uh, hits. Oh, that did nothing, dude. Yo, I love Voldor. He's out here carrying the team. Oh, my God, a crit? You're crazy. Good shit. Fuck you, Anna. What do you think you're doing? Bringing grass types to the desert, trying to fucking kill kill off my lock, dude. Okay, so there's nothing here, but we do got a Pokeball. What's this? An ether, an ether. I don't even know how the fuck you say that. Oh, shit. Okay, what's over here? Oh, is that a... It's not a book. Pokeball. Right here is a Pokeball. God damn it. <clears throat> anyway. You know what, guys? I'm gonna risk it for the fucking biscuit. I'm gonna lead with Fang. <laughs> Watch this dude bring out a water type. I mean, this girl. It's a girl. Don't send out a fucking water type or even a grass type. Don't fucking do it. Send out a fucking fire type. Bro! You gotta be shitting me, dude. Fuck. You know, I'm not gonna risk it. I know we're a lot of levels above it, but I am not losing Sandow, guys. I love Sandow. 
I'm going to try to bring sand out to the end of the game. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to fucking try. The boar, I mean, what am I saying? The boar, I was like mixing boulder with the rock, and I was, and I said the boar. What the fuck is wrong with me? The rock is kind of like my, my guardian, the guardian of the team, right? He's, he's supposed to protect all the other Pokemon while they get stronger. Because he's obviously my strongest Pokemon right now. That's some okay damage. I don't like that. Boulder, can you just hit this dude once? Okay, I think I can go for one more, and then I'm definitely going to heal. Go for one more. Don't kill me. Don't crit. Don't fucking crit. Okay, thank you. How much is that going to do? Nice damage, Bulldor. Hell yeah. Level up? No, it's not even close. What am I talking about? Level 28 on Fang. Crunch. Ooh, crunch. Well, just get rid of Bite, you know? Crunch is the upgrade for Bite. I'm not sure if he evolves right now, or maybe it was like 29 or 30. Yeah, I don't think he evolves right now, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he doesn't evolve right now. That's fine, though. Uh, what's your team looking like again? Okay, everyone's fine except the rock. I'm just going to heal him manually. I'm not going to go back to a uh, little shed. I'll just heal him right, right here. And where's my paralyzed heal? Right there. We got two of them shits. We're good. All right, let's heal the rock. Uh, let's lead with Sandow again. I want to train him. And he has crunch now, dude. He's going to be able to handle a lot of stuff. The fun the fun of traveling around the world is having serious battles with a lot of Pokemon I meet. Don't send out a water type. Or a grass type. Blitzel, bro. That's that's a cakewalk for Sandow. That's a one-hit KO, I, I think. Then again, Santum doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, Sandow definitely needs a better ground move. That's for sure. Let's see how much we can do here. Ooh, the Quick Claw. Good shit, dude. We love some uh, Quick Claw action. Ooh, some good damage. Okay, are we almost done here uh, on the route? Because you would think that there wouldn't be too many uh, trainers here. Oh shit. Okay, so up here is how you get to the to Nimbasa City, and then this is the resort. I'm pretty sure. So we gotta, we're just gonna fight all these trainers and try to make it to the resort. We got Scott here with a rock and roller. That's that's a cakewalk again, dude. Sandow's getting blessed. I don't know if we're gonna be able to evolve him though. Um, in this episode, might be next episode. It's gonna intimidate him. All right. Go for Santum, brother. He's gonna have fucking sturdy. But he's trapped in Santum, so it's gonna kill him regardless. See, this doesn't matter. He's gonna die. Came trapped. Oh, you're gonna mud slap me? That's a bitch move. Two damage, dude. That shit did two damage. And he's gone. Boom. Alright, get out of here. Timber? Um, honestly, I could just crunch a timber. He should die to a crunch. What's crunch? Like, base 80 uh, power? Pretty sure. Oh, it's not very effective, but it was a crit, so... If that wasn't a crit, it wouldn't have one-shot, for sure. Digging myself into a big hole. Okay, buddy. Ooh, hey. You wanna fight? Everyone wants to fight me, dude. What's up with that? How many Pokemon? Just one? Don't be a grass type. Okay, just another timber. I guess I can prove what I said last battle, that a single crunch is not going to kill. But it is going to do a lot. God, I love Intimidate, guys. Lowering someone fucking attack at the start of the battle. Wonderful shit. Oh, I got another crit. I was trying to prove that a, like a non-crit wouldn't kill, and I got another crit. Oh, man. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, another house? I mean, shed? It doesn't really look like a house. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a dig pro. I'll give you this TM so you can use it too. Guys, wasn't I saying that I needed a better ground move on Sandow like... Maybe two minutes ago? That's so much better than Sandtomb. Dig is like 80 base power too. Hold up, where is it? Dig. 80 base power, that's gonna be huge for Sandow. 
I am gonna keep uh, Mud Slap. I know Mud Slap doesn't do a lot of damage, but for now it's really good because it lowers accuracy. And Sand Tomb doesn't do that much damage, and the benefit from it is not that big. So I think Mud Slap is definitely the best, the better move to keep. What do you got? Sandstorms are terrible, but Rocket Ground type and Steel type Pokemon can weather a Sandstorm without damage. I know that. I'm in Pokemon Master, dude. All right, what do you want? Ruins buried in desert, in the desert. It's like a grand adventure in a story. Okay. Okay, so this is we're almost there, guys. We're almost at the resort. I mean, okay, technically, this counts as the resort. Should we get an encounter this episode? Is this a double battle? Who do we got? Let's put Tom in here just to feel a little safer. That's not a double battle. <laughs> what? Okay, well, that's fine. I guess we don't have to fight these dudes. Ooh, I'm trying not to encounter anything. I want to encounter something in the resort because I'm pretty sure there's uh, different Pokemon in here. What do you want? Hey, hey, stop running away from me. I'm a school kid, so I know that. Yeah, shut up. I, I already don't care. Let's get an encounter. Hope, Hopefully we don't have to fight anyone to get an encounter. Is this, is this encounter stuff? Can we encounter anything here? I don't think so. Wait, can we walk past these dudes? Hold up, look at this ninja shit right here. Okay, we're just gonna get an encounter real quick. Let's go, dude. Wait, actually, before before I get the encounter, let me make sure I lead with Tom in case it is a ground type or something. It, it could be a Maractus, which is a grass type, which would be kind of cool. <gasps> we got a Dwebble. I love Dwebble. Yo, I ain't even mad about that. A bug type is fucking dope. Let's get it, dude. A little Dwebble. Hell yeah. Where's my balls? Ooh, we got a Netball. Has more, uh, more of a catch chance on bug and water types. So, it should catch. Hey, we got him, dude. I know what I'm gonna call this, dude. So, he's like, he's a hermit crab, right? So I, I think there's only one name that I could give him. I'm not gonna put any capital letters. I'm just gonna call him Crab. But wait for it. I'm not done yet. Oh shit. That's not where I'm trying to be. His name is Crab Rave. Dwebble the Crab Rave. I'm 99% sure that's how you spelled Rave. And if I misspelled it, then it's even a funnier Pokemon, I guess. Okay, well, before we uh, end the episode here, I just want to make sure there is nothing down here, right? Okay, there is nothing down here. Okay, so we can end the episode here. This, I'm pretty sure this was a lengthy episode. I don't have the numbers on me. Okay, wait, I do. This was a 32 minute episode. So yeah, it was a little bit on the longer side, but we made a lot of progress this episode. You know, the boys are looking good. We made it through the rival battles. And we got a new Dwebble, so I'm very happy with the stuff that we accomplished accomplished this episode. Anyway, that's it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.